In this video, we'll look at graphing the parent functions y equals x cubed and y equals x to the power of 4, which are, in turn, the cubic and the quartic parent functions. So we'll start with y equals x cubed, and we'll pick some x's. We know that if you cube 0, 0 to the power of 3 is still going to be 0. And as we typically do, we'll pick x's, small x's, on either side of that center point and see what happens. Well, if you sub in x of 1, 1 to the power of 3 is still 1. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. You can check on your calculator if you can't do that in your head, just 2 times 2 times 2. Same thing with 3 cubed, that's just 3 times 3 times 3, which gives 27. And then when we cube negative 1, it's going to be a negative times a negative times a negative. You still get a negative result. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Negative 2 cubed is negative 2 times negative 2. That's positive 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8. So we're just cubing, but the result stays negative because the exponent is odd. So the third one, negative 3 to the power of 3, will be negative 27. This is the table for y equals x cubed, the cubic. Let's make the table for y equals x to the power of 4, just because I know the scale is going to be affected by what we get here. So for y equals x to the power of 4, again, if you put 0 in here, 0 to the power of 4, still 0. And we'll pick x's on either side. Small, easy numbers to do. And then start subbing in. What's 1 to the power of 4? Still 1. But what's 2 to the power of 4? 16. What's 3 to the power of 4? Ask your calculator if you're not sure. 81. 3 to the power of 4 is just 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. It's 81. And the same will happen with the negatives. But this time, negative 1 to the power of 4 has negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 four times. That's going to leave you a positive. And negative 2 to the power of 4 also will be positive. So once again, 16, just like on the other side. Same thing with negative 3. When you sub it in to the power of 4, you get positive 81, because there's four negatives, or negative 3 to the power of 4. So now we're ready to graph. We can put our arrows on the graph, as the graph goes on forever, and label the x-axis and the y-axis, and we'll make our scale, and label every second tick. And it's just going to take a moment, but it's worth it. In the end, we'll have a beautiful graph. And we've got to think about our scale. Now, you can have a totally different scale from one axis to the other. So, in other words, because my axis stayed really small, I'm just going to have my x-axis go up by 1 every box, or every tick, it goes up by 2. So I'm just writing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 on the negative side, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, negative 10. But on my y-axis scale, I need to at least hit 81. So I'm going to have my y-axis go up by 10s. So this will be 10. So this is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And this is negative 20, negative 40, negative 60, negative 80, negative 100. All right, let's graph 0, 0 for this y equals x cubed, and then when you're at negative 1, it's here, you go down to negative 1, which is still really close to here. And then when you're at negative 2, you go down to negative 8, which is over here. And when you're at negative 3, you go down to negative 27, which is about here. But when you're on the positive side, you go over 1, up 1. Remember, different scale. It's 1 on the x-axis, but a very tiny movement on the y-axis because the scale is so large. 2 on the x-axis up to 8, so that's about here, and 3 on the x-axis up to 27, that's about here. So here's a classic shape. You get this sort of S-shaped curve, and that's the classic shape of a cubic. It comes in, and I start that again, I missed a little bit. Put my arrow, so you come in and curve towards the points, hit the center, and then come up through the others curve back out. That's your classic cubic, which I'll label y equals x cubed. 
that parent function cubic looks very different than the parent function of a quartic who had 0, 0 as well and then it had let's start with this negative 3 at negative 3 it's at positive 81 way up here at negative 2 it's at 16 which is about here and at negative 1 it's at 1 which because of my scale is way down here 0, 0, 1, 1 and then 216, it's about here. And then 3, back up to 81. So what you get when you graph the parent function of the quartic is an entirely different shape. It sort of looks like a quadratic, except because of the nature of quartics, its U shape is much more pronounced at the bottom and much steeper as it grows. That's how to graph the parent functions of cubic and quartic, or y equals x cubed and y equals x to the power of 4.